luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way It's been a while since we did a video like this, a grim mail video. We've been wanting to do it for a while, but with everything that's been happening with COVID-19, we haven't. We've been wanting to, because you guys mean the world to us, but this is the official, the second official grim mail video. If you didn't know it already, we do have a P.O. box, and because people keep getting it wrong, it's posted right below us. Now notice, it has three sixes in the P.O. box number. How fitting is that? Yet people still emit the last six. It's very dark and spooky. Look at me, Damien. It's all for you. It's a little long. Yeah. Feel free to send us anything strange and unusual, and who knows, maybe, just maybe, you will appear on this video. Stephen King wrote this. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you oh, ready? Yeah. You ready? Yes. Hey, Michael. Stephen King wrote this movie, Creature. I was telling my son in the movie just barely see his head there. Stop reading this crap. <laughs> my son was played by Stephen King's real son. Oh my gosh. Joe King. I didn't know Who is that. now Joe Hill, famous writer on his own. Oh there you go, Michael. See you, man. If you've been watching us, our videos, you may or may not know that Creepshow, George Romero and Stephen King's Creepshow is one of my all time favorite movies. And meeting Tom Atkins has been a dream of mine but have been unable to do it. But close friends of ours, Laura and Matt, they met Tom Atkins. They got that video, and they got him to sign this for us. To the Grim Life Collective, stop reading this crap. This is going on our wall. Sometimes you guys have helped us out in finding things that we were looking for, and Michael, do you see that? Oh, I see it. Is that? It's Nessie! Why, hello, Nessie! Oh, hello, Nessie! Tell us the story about how Nessie came to be part of the Grim Life Collective. Come to me, Nessie. Come to me. Oh, oh God, she's so cute. She's so cute! She's <laughs> sailing away. Now, um, well, like I was just saying, sometimes you guys help us find things that we're looking for, um, that we're having difficulty, um, finding internet wise or, or in our local stores um particularly a friend who came to my aid who lives in scotland i was trying to find a particular hair dye and turns out it's only available in the uk and that's how i got my beautiful green hair that you all love quarantine green quarantine green toxic uk being so uh she helped me find um this hair dye and when she sent it over she sent this beautiful little they call it a, a basket, I think, from Scotland. And I'm, I'm just so in love with Nessie. I keep petting her like she is my real life little living dinosaur. And she actually sent over some treats for us to try from Scotland, particularly Iron Brew. Wait, is it an actual beer or, or is it no, soda? It's a soda. And I don't know the flavor. I'm assuming it's orange, but I don't know. I well, it does say it. it's a secret recipe since 1901. But it doesn't list a flavor. I'm assuming because the can is orange? It's bread in Scotland. <laughs> or is it bread? Bread? Bread. 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 <laughs> and what else is this? And, okay, so if you've watched some of our live videos in the past, um, you'll have maybe noticed that I'm obsessed with a particular... Scottish comedy called Still Game. And in that show, they eat these particular cakes. They're tea cakes called Tunnocks. Tunnocks tea cakes, the daddy of them all. Oh, except no substitutes, very impressive. And uh, there's a whole episode around it. It's a big deal. 
and because she knew that I love the show because it's like we bonded over it she sent me some of the cakes and I'm so excited to try this I don't know what to try first she did warn us though that soda in Britain is way more sugary than here in America interesting right yeah so I'm excited to do that so I say we try the soda first okay yeah I'm game for that I'm wait I'm is this scared. technically like a reaction video now I guess. Oh, Sam God. Sampling treats from Scotland. A reaction video yeah. to Scotland treats and soda. It's a secret. I'm we don't know what scared. flavor it is. I'm going to guess it's like orange because it's an orange can. I'm going to assume it's orange, but I don't know, so I'm going to smell it. It's not orange. You take it first. Wait, what? I think it's like a, a, it like a ginger like, ale. Almost like bubble gum. Like a... It does kind of smell like Do you want to taste it? No, you have to taste okay, it. Okay, I'll taste it first. She sent it to you. I know. I'm nervous. Here it goes. Do that. Oh my god, it does taste like bubblegum. It's like bubblegum. Yeah. I like bubblegum. That is amazing. Oh, carbonation. Pardon me. Oh wow. That is really good. It kind of tastes like cotton candy. Like cotton candy bubblegum. That's good. Like, it is it? It I says wonder... aspartame. I thought it said asparagus for a second. It... I was like, wait, what? Amy, I love you. This... <laughs> I might have to bother you for more. This is all good. Send it. Mmm. Mine. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, it's so we good. We haven't tried these. It's still a family business from 1890. Let's get a little closer look That's at that. That's cool. Crazy cool. All right. So Do the honors. These, from what I gather from the show, and I don't know anything about um, Scottish tea cakes because I I don't I don't drink tea. Um, but most people, when they have a nice hot cup of tea, they have their pudding or the, their cakes. What I didn't know is that they're not always too, when 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 people have said cakes, I always thought biscuits which would be our cookies and oftentimes yeah but i believe that these are like chocolate and marshmallow i don't do marshmallow i do marshmallow i mean i have to try it because you'll it's... have to take a bite at least yeah it's tonux 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 and in the show they're so big i wonder if they're hollow because they're so light oh wow in the show the whole thing is um i almost threw it these best Jesus. friends uh Victor, uh, Victor McDade and Jack Jarvis, Esquire. Um, whether or not don't open it yet. Jack ate three or four because of the way he he mm -hmm. rolls up his balls, uh, <laughs> his tea cake <laughs> foil, and um, and Victor had only had two and he flattens his out. So now I have to ask: when you have things like this, when you have little chocolates, do you? roll your tin up into a ball or do you flatten it out so i think i do both actually i i, I say in this is huge look how big this is compared to my eyeball i say because of in in honor of the tv show still game mm -hmm. i feel like do you want to roll yours up or do you want to flatten yours out we have to do um my favorite character is actually victor mcdade who flattens his out. Okay, so you're just gonna flatten yours out. I'm gonna so roll mine into a ball. So you're gonna be Jack Jarvis, which is funny because Victor's is a really tall one and Jack's really short like me. So we're switching. Maybe, it, I, have, I have no idea what to it expect. It is marshmallow. It's huge, it's look gotta how be marshmallow. big this is. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ready? Oh, yeah. Cheater. Oh, there's a cookie on the bottom. Oh, or is that I'm caramel? not a fan of marshmallow, but I had to take a look at it, so. Ready? Uh-huh. Okay. That's amazing. Look. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Mmm. Mmm. Fine sausage. So, it's like a cookie on the bottom. Very soft marshmallow. When you think marshmallow, not American marshmallow, but like the marshmallow fluff you use to make Rice Krispies. And then they make a dome of chocolate over that and cover them. Not a fan of marshmallow. Don't do, dig the marshmallow. The chocolate was kind of good, but the cookie on the bottom, that's my favorite part. It's really rich. She sent two. 
along with the hair dye and a beautiful necklace, which I don't want to take out of this case because it's so lovely. Um, she sent two of the Iron Brew, and I actually want to save one for later. This is kind of like a fan appreciation video. We love you guys and what you do for us, watching our videos and reaching out, especially when we do live videos. People send all kinds of things, from postcards to letters to stamps. Recently, it was Jessica's birthday, and one of our fans sent us sent us a package of some really, really cool things, including a member of our family, a new member of our family. Introduce... Planchette. Planchette. I thought you were going to say it. No, I was waiting <laughs> for you to say the name. Me, 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 me. Since she's got Planchette in the mail, Planchette so has sweet. gone everywhere with us. Yeah. So she absolutely loves plants. I love which bats. Is basically a bat. I love bats. I love bats so much and he's so soft and he's so cute. He's got a little heart-shaped nose. Well that's how he got the name Planchette. Yeah. That's how we got to naming him because it's a little heart-shaped but it does look like a Ouija Planchette. Yeah but he's sweet and he's, mm -hmm. he's he just he, he just wants hugs. He just he wraps up for hugs. And then well it was also my birthday oh. recently but uh, it was also our anniversary as well. So she sent something to Michael as an anniversary present. And thank you so much, Christina. I am a huge collector, a huge collector huge. Huge. of horror movie scars, scores. Man, now I can't speak because I'm pretending I can't speak. <laughs> scars. But they sent us this and I didn't have it. So it is The Exorcist, the original on vinyl put out by Waxworks. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's stunning. Oh yeah. And what's even more stunning is the inside. Wait till you get a load of this. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up up here. Check it out, ready? Dun, dun, dun. That's crazy cool. So thank you so much. Where's Jessica? <laughs> I'm small. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to find me. Uh, so here's a little piece of trivia for you guys. I have cried in two videos. Do you know what they are? I do. <laughs> I do too. Um, you probably, I probably don't even need to, to ask that question. You already know. I am a big geek and sometimes I ramble on about the things I'm passionate about like all of us fandom people do and you guys listen and so for my birthday and for enjoying our channel you have sent me gifts for the dark crystal and I'm I'm just so thankful it's so very sweet and I want to say a quick thank you to Maria in California for completing my Funko collection of the original release oh, yeah. of the dark crystal um, thank you so so much and um this one was a little bit of a mix of my two obsessions from John, who is actually native to Florida. One is, I think it's a pot holder. Let's see if I can get this up here for you guys. From The Dark Crystal. And it's like a slab of granite. It's really pretty and heavy. Probably hear that. It's like very ASMR-ish of you. I know. And, which I love, it's so beautiful for, it's, it's the original Dark Crystal, but he also owns an America boa constrictor. He says she's about seven feet long. I don't want to take it out because I don't want to damage it. So let's see if you can see this without much of a glare, but she recently had a shed. I know that's probably hard to see, but he sent me her skin. And that is just like so cool, mine. I just want... Ooh, burpee, some iron brew. <laughs> <laughs> it smells a little too much like bubble gum bubble right gum. now. I know. Um, <laughs> and with this is so cool. I'll like kind of let her peek out of the package. I know that they can be really fragile. And I don't really remember if I've told you guys how much I love the skins of things before, but you guys listen even when I'm not paying attention to myself. And this is just, it's so cool because it's the entire thing. It's seven foot long. I'm going to get it treated. And I think I'm going to try and find a way to frame it because... <sighs> You know how, like... I like when I smell it, but is that, is that weird? You know how, like, fishermen, how they, like, mount their fish 
onto like a piece but of wood. But this is a seven foot long snake. We can get like a seven foot long plaque and put like it up there. Like a piece of velvet? And, and something like that. Yeah. And, and, and we have to figure out the name of, uh, does it say the name of the snake? Oh, Carmen. Carmen's Carmen. flesh. Yeah. We'll put a little thing there. Thank you, John. Thank you so much, John. That was like a perfect balance of like, Jess is like nerdy and geeky and like little kid. So here's some, you know, dark crystal. And then it was like, I dead. see you collect dead things. It's like whenever people get married and it was like something new, something old. It's like something, something nerd, dead. Something dead. <laughs> That's us. At one point, I would have been kind of ashamed to admit what I'm about to tell you right now. Up until recently, Grim Life Collective hasn't owned a single piece of murder memorabilia, or what they call murderbilia. But mm -hmm. thanks to a friend of ours, a fan of the show named John, he sent us this. A little hard to see, probably read, but that, a little handwritten note, well, typed note, and a letter from prison from a killer by the name of Robert Bardo. Who's Robert Bardo? Robert Bardo. 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 Killed a woman by the name of Rebecca Schaefer. Who's Rebecca Schaefer? She was an American actress. Ooh, bad boy. Nothing like really too exciting what, what, you she, her, what she was in. What you gonna do? But you come pretty you? well known. Wrong show. But we do love cops. <laughs> but this is do? an actual handwritten uh, note by Robert Bardo. Um, authentic piece of murderbilia. Uh, three page letter of him talking to somebody written from prison. This is cool. Crazy. Thank you. You know, sometimes you have moments where you start wondering how much you ramble about the things you're passionate about because I'm looking at this next package that someone sent me and I'm like, wow, they really listened again. And I don't remember talking about it distinctly, like kind of in general, that growing up, I'm a big nerd. I'm a Trekkie. I grew up on comics, which is probably about how I said it. Um, and how I lost all the comics I ever owned. Um, and so they sent me a variety of comics and man, this is so cool. Like I, I'm staring at it going, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you. There's everything from vintage Secrets of the Haunted House, Scary Tales. Look at this. Like, I love vintage comics and these are really, really cool. And the stories in them, you know, old fashioned ghost stories. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorites. Ghost stories. It's like campfire, right? Do it this way so you can see it. But oh yeah, that's a lot better. Like, how beautiful is that? And then, I guess we've talked about Clive Barker enough that you guys know how much I love Nightbreed. I actually used to have this entire um, as much as I love Creepshow, Nightbreed is something you talk about the most. I know, I do. I grew up on this movie. This is probably the movie I watched the most from like ages 12 to whatever. I'm um, 38. <laughs> In our last Grim Mail video, somebody yeah. sent you uh, the Nightbreed oh, that's right. director's cut. So yeah. this is Nightbreed showing up twice in these videos. It's a huge part of my childhood and slash adulthood. And so thank you so much. I used to have the entire set of these and, you know, things happen. You have to sell certain things to make life manageable or at least pay your no bills. No more. You know, and uh, so thank you so much. He sent the first three and that's just, you know, that's so sweet because it, it brought me back to a lot of whole memories. And then it's like, how did you know? How did you know that I would be into this? Um, if you haven't heard of this, it's something that Glenn Danzig, um, I think, helped produce but did not draw. He came out with a video version recently, which is really, really bad. Yeah. Um, but the comic version. So one is called Veronica. Lift them up. And the other one is called Those Satanica. Are cool. The so artwork's think, amazing. The artwork is amazing. It's Veronica Erotica. Um, they're both kind of like erotic, hentai ish. Well, there's Santana. Satanica. But, um, but Verotic. It's part of part of Veronica. I yeah. think Veronica, I could be wrong, is Came an actual name of one of his albums. Ah. I could be wrong though. I'm probably wrong because <laughs> why the heck Adults not? Only. <laughs> Which is us. Which is us. That is so cool. So like <laughs> you guys just astound me how much you, you know, listen to the things we say because half the time you have conversations with people and it goes in one ear and out the other and we just, we have the sweetest followers who are yeah. becoming our family and our f closest friends and 
I'm about to have some feels, you know, like. And doing YouTube, we've learned that you kind of have to be careful what you say. We haven't had anything bad happen. Yeah. But no. the littlest, tiniest things that we've said during a live video and or in a video. A blip. Somebody out there will grab onto it and turn it around and, and reach and out to us. surprise us with something yeah. because they appreciate the content we're creating mm -hmm. and sharing. And, you know, that's, a, that's what we mean by family, you know. Um, we thank, by the way, thank you everybody who sent us uh, birthday cards and messages online uh, for my birthday. And not only just my birthday, but our anniversary, which was just last week. May 1st. Mm -hmm. Three years. Yes. Jinx. <laughs> 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 but seriously, uh, we're not showing everything that we get in the mail. A lot of times they're letters, and uh, we got a really so cool much. Ghostbusters postcard. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where it's at right Goosebumps. now. Goosebumps. Uh, yeah, Goosebumps. Um, uh, it's somewhere around here. So I mean, by all means, send little us cute anything. Bats. I got a little <laughs> seahorse today. A little freeze-dried seahorse for my birthday. Um, and little wooden bats. And I mean, I want to get them wet. <laughs> no, he'll like dissolve probably. He won't come back to life. What if we pour some bubblegum iron bleh on him? That would be worse. Because then he'd just Dang be damaged. It. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he won't come back to life. But it, we're, our defense mechanism is to be kind of funny and goofy. But we really, you guys have touched our hearts. And we're so appreciative. Um, not just for the things that we have received and the messages we received. But also for the donations you guys have sent us to help us keep this going. Um, even just watching our videos, even just occasionally saying hello or commenting on a video means the world to us. Mm -hmm. And with that, we have a couple more things to show. <gasps> oh yeah. Ooh. I think you, I think you saved one that, uh, it's, it's not delicate, but handle with care because Michael's I don't know if it's his biggest obsession, but one of his biggest obsession is religious memorabilia, like religious demonic memorabilia, or is it like a is religious it Catholic general or compartmentalized? I, I would have to say it's um, probably um, Catholic relics. Okay. I'm a little bit obsessed with anything religious. We'll just say that. I totally want to dress up like a nun sometime. Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but truth be told, at one point in my life, I actually almost became a priest. That's a lot. So maybe that's where it comes from. I love religious horror. I love collecting religious artifacts. Mm -hmm. And somebody, I, I'm so sorry, I cannot remember who I, sent this to it's us. It's probably my fault. I had a card with it for the longest time. And, um, you know, things get moved around in the home and... And I, I lost the card. I'm so sorry. We did a video in Savannah, Georgia about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, 13 West York. It was mm -hmm. an oddity shop in Savannah. And as a way of saying thank you for putting them out there and reaching out to them, they gave us... And we just got married. Yeah. It was part of a, a wedding gift. Mm -hmm. They gave us... A, it was like a last rites box. Yes. And it's really cool. I don't think we've ever shown it. On and social media or anything like that. So no, this is the first time showing something from the collection. And again, I don't remember who sent it to us. And you know, typically you don't see them painted like this, but I kind of like it painted. Oh, you don't? No, this oh, is this is like painted <laughs> black on it, right? <laughs> yeah. Now I know I'm like looking over there, but this, if you don't not know what it is, it's a last rites cross, and a lot of times these hang in the house. Families will hang these on the wall someplace and you would see it in movies mm -hmm. like whenever like a demonic presence is close mm -hmm. it turns upside down and that's their last rice box i never there's a that. last rice box i never realized that no and what's neat is they move they slide so let me get a little closer i don't want to drop anything on the ground stuff in there? it comes out oh. it's got holy water it's got places for candles there's two candles in there is there's like a little a parchment yeah and then you'd put it up there and you would do last rites crazy cool That's right cool. yeah it's so, like a lost art isn't it yeah you don't see anything you don't, like you don't this see them anymore. do the well i think whenever people call on last rites now just uh the priests will bring their own little pieces and you know what i mean i don't even know if this is even like original to the times or if it's even it's, it looks like it it looks back, like it, it says, i mean it yeah. says made in usa and it, it looks like it has a little age to it and maybe but it still, has so much age to it it's amazing it. yeah that's cool that's so cool 
again, we want to thank you guys for reaching out and sending us different things. A lot of people reach out and say, hey, can I send you something? In all of our videos yeah. in the description, we have different ways you can get in contact with us, mm -hmm. different ways you can support the Grim Life Collective. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites, it says, send us something strange and unusual. Mm -hmm. I should put like, you know, but not too like disturbingly strange because the post office might get in, you in trouble yeah. or else. If it's dripping blood, I don't think they'll accept it. But blood in a jar that's properly sealed? Uh, yeah, but seriously, make sure- Not yours. Not yours. Not yours. <laughs> make sure you write down the correct number. Yes. The post office address is listed right there. Like, let's do that like funny thing where like people are like looking. Look, oh. It's down below. Hello. It's down below. Hello. Yeah. It's right down Hello. there. And you know you got the right number because it's got three sixes in it. Mm-hmm. So it's P.O. Box 616164. It's a long one. But it's a, a devilish lot. number. They're usually pretty small. Yeah. It is a, I think they did it on purpose because we're friends with people who work at the post office, not um, outside of work. We just, we became friends with them from, we ship a lot, you know. And uh, when we got our post office, I, I think they intentionally gave us one with 666 in it because I know, like, we do spooky things. And I like to think they did it on purpose anyway. We're spooky. Happenstance. I don't know. It's We're cool. spooky. <laughs> Thank you guys. You know, instead of giving like hearts, you know, like people give like hearts. Yeah. I'm gonna give like bats. Like like, like voodoo X's. <laughs> like one two three. Bats. One two three. Bats. One two three. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Wherever I come, bad luck is coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is dead in stay. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.